Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my post-arrival leaderboard for Miss Grand International 2023. Welcome. So this is my fourth leaderboard or my post arrival, my first leaderboard after they already arrived in Vietnam for the competition. And this leaderboard is purely based on everything that we've seen from the moment they arrived, how they performed, all the other activities, and everything definitely changed in my leaderboard. But let's see if we currently share the same list. I'm uploading this prior to the best in swimsuit competition which will be held later today so here are my current top 20 post arrival number 20 mexico maria fernanda beltran i have seen her in her best look and i've seen her in her okay-ish mode too she's got a tendency to be left out but if she sticks with what brings out the best in her what makes her look like a real standout then she could potentially deliver and pull a solid spot in the semifinals. They just need to find the best choice for her and stick with it. Number 19, Australia. Michaela Rose Fowler. Australia always have her own natural charm and elegance that's very hard to ignore and always stands out against others. She may not be very high on my list always, but to me, I'm always seeing the potential in her she always managed to deliver solid styling and performances so i think a top 20 would be well deserved for her so far number 18 the czech republic sofia osako there's no doubt in my mind that she's got one of the most beautiful faces this year i loved her confidence and personality every time every time she presents herself but i don't know if it's just me but I have to admit, some of her stylings for me are quite underwhelming. And I would love to see some more consistency as well in terms of her walk. Number 17, the United Kingdom. Chloe Elman Baker. United Kingdom is the kind of representative that we mustn't underestimate. Because since departure, especially that we've especially that we've seen that photos and videos of her during departure, that was amazing especially when she arrived in Vietnam. I can easily say that this is the kind of woman that prepared so well for the competition and will not back down without giving her all. And I am proud of her for doing that. She could be a potential spoiler in the top 10 if she continues this and keeps on surprising us. Number 16, the Dominican Republic. Scarci Marte. Dominican Republic is a very good surprise and, ha and I haven't even noticed her that much prior to arrival. She's got a strong stage presence and strong walk too and have been quite impressive in some of the events already. I would love to see her bring some more spark because if she does, she could potentially do very well in the finals and might even place high. Number 15, Brazil. Adriana Yanka. Brazil is strikingly beautiful and she always managed to look great, especially if her styling showcases her youthful aura and look. Although I have to admit, in the past few days, she's been on and off in terms of her presentation and performance and sometimes being overshadowed by many, many delegates. I think, I still think she is a decent contender, but if she wanted to go far, she needs to step up her game. Number 14, Uzbekistan. Amalia Shakirova, a surprisingly good candidate. She always has that infectious and high level of energy, especially when she's on stage. And also, she can manage to deliver solid performances and styling. She could be one of the surprises that could give other frontrunners a run for their money. Watch out for this one because she could come for one of the top spots. Number 13, India. Arshina Sumbul, undoubtedly one of the most improved candidates on this list. She is doing an incredible job so far 
and to think that she was one of the ladies who's got very short time to prepare for the pageant what she's shown so far is quite impressive i am looking forward to see more of her performances because her walk is quite good too number 12 nigeria boma de kubo nigeria is clearly africa's contender her personality and confident performances with her strong aura is always her best asset i also appreciate that she takes risk in terms of wardrobes and performances and styling and at the same time taking the risk and nailing them as well with her beauty charisma and caliber i have no doubt that she would make it and might even go far number 11 netherlands melissa botema Netherlands is delivering in the competition too. I love how she looked most of the time. She's always looking beautiful and her performances were great. But I would love to see it to be much stronger. I would love to see a level up version of what she's showing us so far. I would love to see her in the top 5 too. But she is one of the ladies that I would love to step up her game. So she can easily make that top 5 manifestation into a reality. Number 10, Vietnam. Li Wang Fong. I wasn't a huge fan at first, but she has certainly grown a lot of a lot in me in terms of performance and presentation. She's also one of the solid candidates in terms of performances and the way she's styled. She's keep on improving and very consistent about it too. So I think for now, a top 10 for Vietnam would be a decent placement. Number 9, Peru. Luciana Foster. One of the candidates that I am keeping my eye on because she could take home one of the spots in the top five. Peru got one of the most beautiful faces this year and she has been very consistent in terms of styling and performances. And she's always presenting and performing like she owns the stage and I have a feeling that she will have some more surprises to pull in, in the next activities. Number eight, Venezuela. Valentina Martinez, a strong contender in terms of beauty, styling, and performance. Also one of the candidates that is definitely well prepared. However, I think Venezuela have the tendency to be overshadowed by other contenders. So just like what I said with other candidates, she also needs to step up her game to be on top, which I think she's really capable of. Venezuela could really be a top five finisher. But she needs to be very consistent. She needs to step up her game. And if she can manage to do that and show top-notch consistency, then she will be an easy top five finalist. Number seven, the Philippines. Nikki Demora. Philippines has also been very consistent every day and has been standing out in daily activities. Her performances were very good, although it could still be better. But with what she has shown us so far, and with her quality right now, she's already giving us an assurance that she is giving us a performance and quality that is nothing less than a top 10. Number 6, Myanmar. Nini Lin Ain. Myanmar is taking this competition by storm. I can easily say that Myanmar is one of the best surprises and I am seeing a woman who's willing to fight for one of the top spots. She takes notes right away, she takes notes easily and improves on what is being listed on her notes and what needs to improve right away. And I think that's a very good quality. I think for now, a top 10 is a solid spot, but I have a feeling that she could even pull a potential top five. And that would be amazing because it, it's, it might be, and it could be their highest placement in this competition. Number five goes to Thailand. Tawi Porn Ping Chamrat. Thailand is someone that you can already be so sure to be in the top five. She's got the beauty, the aura, the charm, confidence, and charisma of a top five contender. Her performances were really great too, and her stylings were impeccable and impeccably close to perfection. Number four, Puerto Rico. Cristina Ramos. What an amazing woman. Puerto Rico is definitely one of the candidates that cleared my doubts after arrivals. I was worried about her styling, but she came and surprised us. I was unsure about her doing well, but she came and made us proud. Puerto Rico has done an incredible job so far. Number three, the United States. Stephanie Miranda. 
United States is very impressive in terms of her looks and performances. For someone like her, who is a pageant veteran, I expect nothing less. She's got one of the strongest looks and aura, and her recent looks and stylings just keeps on improving day by day. As a frontrunner, it is so satisfying to see her continuously peak in this pageant. Number two, Indonesia. Ritasha well great. Indonesia truly came prepared because she was spot on here and there in terms of styling and performances. If she could be able to maintain her quality and be consistent about it, Ritasha could be an easy shoe in in the top five. What a stunning candidate, equipped with beautiful wardrobes and strong performances. But as of the moment, my current number one for my post arrival, my fourth leaderboard for Miss Grand International 2023 is Colombia. Maria Alejandra Lopez, she is certainly delivering and living up to her front runner status. I wouldn't say she's an easy runaway winner because, of course, others are catching up, others are improving, others are doing better than expected. So it is not an easy win for her. But it is also difficult to ignore her performances and her consistency at this pageant. She has been very, very solid so far in terms of everything. And what she's giving us is definitely a top five and winner caliber. So proud of her. She's doing very well. She's doing good. So that's it. This is my fourth leaderboard, my post arrival for Miss Grand International 2023. Their current ranking after arrival. So how did your favorites did so far? in this list so is your favorite on the list if not don't forget to leave your comments below don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well and most importantly don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future for now thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the philippines